Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber. I am excited that I did this look today. It was very neutral natural and I also wanted it to be very dewy and glowy on my face. And other than I'm a little dry on my skin, I think it turned out really good. So let's get into it. So I went ahead and I just did one eye off camera and let's get into that other eye so you can see how I got this beautiful look. First I'm going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with this like burnt red orange color. I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush. Just taking it in circle motions in that outer corner and I'm just making sure I keep kind of a shape. I want to make sure that I kind of fan it out at the end and I'm still rounding it out at the bottom. So the top should be more fanned out and the bottom should be more rounded. And then right in the inner corner, just nice little um, curve with your eyeball there. Just taking a little bit more of that color and I'm going to go really on that outer portion with it and then make sure that it's just one nice stable color. Taking the same uh, Jaclyn Hill palette but more with this like pale pinky orangey brown color and just taking it on the same brush. And then just circling motions over everything that I just put down already. And then I'm just picking up a little bit more of that same color. And I just want to really make sure that it's one smooth color. Now I'm taking the same uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and it's like this kind of purpley, dark browny, light, like shimmer color. I'm just going to take them out in that same brush. And I'm just going to circle it in the inner portion. And I want to stop about halfway. And again, just grabbing a little bit more of that same um, color. And just kind of boldening it up. Still want to keep kind of that motion that I was using at the beginning. And now... Now I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to go in with this more turquoise-y um, shimmer color. And I kind of just want to go over the bottom uh, far corner. So instead of taking it in the inner, just the outer half. So it kind of gives it a little dimension. Now I'm just going in with this color now trending from my other Morphe palette, the Social Butterfly. I just want to go in the very, very inner corner, corner and I want to circle up and into those other shimmers. And I want to take whatever's left and just go under my brow bone with it. Now taking my Morphe 35 e palette, starting with this shimmer skin like color right here, going one, two, three over from there and taking that color and just mixing them and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that. And now I'm just going to take any makeup wipe and clean that off and make it one harsh, beautiful, straight, crisp line. And today I'm going to try out this, I've been wearing this uh, Shea Moisture uh, 100% virgin coconut oil daily glow priming moisturizer with coconut milk and Asasia Senegal. I probably am saying that wrong, but it just looks like this. Probably can't even read it. But it's just like a shimmery, uh, vegan free, um, all light, or I don't know if it's vegan free, but it's cruelty free, certified organic and natural. It's got like organic raw she butter in it, coconut oil, and coconut milk blend, and all that, but I've been liking it without makeup, because most of the time I work, I just don't even, when I work my day job, I don't even put makeup on other than eyebrows and lashes, and so sometimes I'll put this on my face, and it's just kind of shimmery. I kind of like it. Kind of makes you look more like dewy and hydrated for like, the warm weather so could be a total fail but I'm gonna try it anyway 
See, look, it's like making me glowy and shimmery and it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. I just don't know if it's going to make me too shimmery, but we'll see. Or how it's going to go underneath my makeup. I haven't worn it underneath my makeup yet, so I'm excited to try it. Alrighty, and I'm still going to attempt to go in with my Optical Illusion Complexion Primer by Urban Decay. I'm just going to go a little lighter on it. And I'm also going to go in with my, my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drop, Radiance Drops. I don't know how it's going to work mixed together, but let's try it out. My look goal is to look pretty dewy, obviously. And just do like a fast little um, fun makeup look. Because that didn't take me too long to do my eyes. So I kind of wanted to, if anything, spend more time on my face or something. Or just... The least amount of time in general. So far it's actually mixing pretty well. Kind of like mattifying that glow. And I've been super dry lately so I also want to stay really hydrated right now. I don't know if you can see on my nose especially now that I have some um, face stuff on it but uh yeah it's been super dry like scrub the crap out of it the other day and I think I just scrubbed it really hard because after I got out of the shower it was just like red and weird and I was like oops it wasn't pretty <laughs> now that I'm all done with my face I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Too Faced Born This Way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer I've been really enjoying using it for just a uh, foundation it's like a thick pretty thick coverage and I like that and it comes with this little wand and I actually really enjoy that Alrighty, well, my camera card got full, so my makeup kind of dried a little bit, but I'm still going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just blend it all out. Alrighty, now for concealer, I'm going to go in with Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in Light Neutral. And I just want to put it where I want the lightest parts of my face to be. And then again, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that concealer everywhere that I decided to put it. And then just really trying to stay precise around my eyes. Once I'm all done blending that out, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Makeup Forever um, pressed powder. There's not much left in here to see, but... <laughs> and I'm just going to put it under my eyes and wherever I put my concealer at. And I'm just using an M438 brush for this. And just letting that sit there for a sec, kind of bake, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with blush with my Morphe 9B palette. I'm just going to take this nice little angled brush and I'm just going to go over all of them except for the red. And I'm going to take my beauty blender that has all my products still on it and I'm just going to press it into my cheeks. And I'm just going to push it in until it looks skin-like. So it looks like a lot lighter, more natural to the face. Now after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my Makeup Forever powder. And I'm going to go back over and more just swipe it instead of pat it this time.
I apologize if you can see the flakiness. I'm just so dry. Like I said the other day, I do not know if I described my face way too hard, but I am so freaking dry. It's just like shaking off. I'm like, ugh. But so far, I like the way all those primers and products used that I used to prime my face and make it moisturized. It actually uh, turned out really nice. I like it. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NYX Illuminator in um, Ritualistic. Then I'm going to take a fan fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pretty much go everywhere that I put concealer. Taking now trending again and in the social butterfly palette. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it and use it to highlight my face. Just a little extra oomph. I'm just gonna go a little bit on like, the highest part. I really like this uh, shade because it really, uh, it almost looks kind of wet, but in like a really satisfying way. So like a kind of metallic wet color. To set my face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my um, Too Faced Mattifying Setting Spray. And I'm just going to go really light with it. I just want it to really stick everything together. And any more dewiness will probably look too dewy. So, and Then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and fix my brows up really fast. Now that I'm all done just kind of touching up my brows, to make them stay in place, I'm just going to use the Maybelline uh, New York Brow Precise uh, Fiber Volumizer. For eyelashes today, I want to go with something a little more neutral and lighter. So I decided to go with these Demi Wispies from Ardell. So let's see how they turn out. For lips, I went ahead and I used my Kat Von D shade in Bow and Arrow. And for my mascara, I just went ahead and went in with my Too Faced Be Better Than Sex. Awesome, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my dewy natural look. I will leave everything that I use down in the description box below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.